Bookies, today we are going to go over what I would recommend from my April 2022 TBR. So let's get started. So just like every month, I go through the books that I really, really liked in April that I recommend for you to read. Um, the only physical one that I have from April because it was a very short reading month is Hotel Magnum Feet by Emily J. Taylor. This is very careful, night circus-like. Uh, basically, there is this hotel that um, it changes its location every, every night. Um, there's these two sisters. The oldest one is caring for the youngest one after their mother's unfortunate passing. Um, she gets one that the hotel will arrive in their town that they are currently in and takes a chance to try to get a job offer as they are looking for new employees. When she doesn't get the job but her younger sister does, she does whatever it takes to get into the hotel to continue to protect her sister. And it's a good thing because there are some creepy things that are going on in this hotel. Um, it was such a fascinating read and I devoured it. I loved every second of reading this book and I highly recommend that you check it out. Another book that I'm going to recommend from the April TBR is Love From Scratch. Um, this was a very fun uh, book. Basically, two college interns are interning at like this Food Network channel thing, <laughs> and um, when they when the network is strapped for a TV show idea, they throw the interns there and they're like, "Hey, cook something!" and it turns into a smash hit. Um, but while they are dealing with that, um, the our main character is dealing with a lot of sexism with the network, and there's only one internship beyond this one. Um, that they can get so they're both competing for it it's very very fascinating i wish that it had a little bit more to it like relationship wise between her and the love interest but other than that i thought it was a very fascinating novel the next one that i'm going to recommend is turning by joy l smith this is basically about a uh, black ballerina she is like perfection in her field she um <laughs> it's the probably like the best ballerina in her area um and she has a lot of great things in store for her that is until there is an incident where we start off with in the novel where she um is paralyzed from the waist down basically ending her ballet career um so a lot of the book focuses on her co um, confronting and dealing with that um, and figuring out what to do with herself, but also her mending her relationship with her mother um, and figuring out what to do with her um, partner um, and also a lot to deal with uh, figuring out how to feel about the incident itself. It's very, very profound and it's one of those that like I really slowed myself down to read and slowly get through because uh, it had such a very, very good message behind it. So I recommend that one. <laughs> I'm also recommending This Purple Heart by Catherine Locke. Um, a lot of historical novels take place during World War II, but this one takes place in Hungary right after World War II. So we're dealing with the aftermath of that, but also the Russian invasion of Hungary. Um, our main character, she is Jewish and she is being followed at the start of the novel. So it's her journey through that and figuring out how to protect herself and her family and figuring out what she wants to do with with whatever's going on. There is a magical realism twist in there. There's angels, there's golems. It's very, very fantastical. It's something that I've not really like read before, like in that like historical fiction magical realism, but it's very well done. Very, very well done. And the last book that I'm going to recommend is Sophie and the Bone Song by Adrian Tooley. This was a fun, fun book. Um, basically there is this girl, she's been raised by, you would call him a bard character. Um, there's like this guild of like five people that are the most, the, the king's renowned musicians. It's very musical book. It's a love story to music basically. Um, but her father is one and he only accepts one, um, partner like every, I don't know how long. So she is battling for that against other people when she loses out to this girl that she 
um, meets that morning that just kind of happens into there, um, has a really good voice, and something happens where she can actually play really, really well, even though she's not played an instrument before. So her main character is having to deal with that and also having to deal with the very sudden uh, death of her father and then trying to train up the bard that is not her in his place. It's very, very fun. Again, a love story to music, fantasy, LGBT. Like It's, it's such a fun book and I loved every second of it. Uh, even though I had to read it on my phone, I'm just like scrolling my phone. I'm like, oh my God, oh my God, I have to keep reading, I have to keep reading, I have to keep reading. <laughs> Um, but yeah, that is everything that I would recommend from my April 2022 TBR. Um, I read a lot of books. Well, I read some good books in April, but those are the ones that I think that you should be looking out for. So yeah, that is everything guys. So thank you guys for watching. See you again. Bye.